Hi. Today we will see demo of virtual agent in ServiceNow. Actually, virtual agent is a chatbot which we can configure as per our needs. I'll first show you how it works and then I'll show you how we have configured it. So this is the service portal that we have created and I have already configured a chatbot for this portal. So here below we will see the icon for the chat and on click on this icon the chat will start. So on click on this icon it opens the chat window. It will automatically give me a message. How can I help you? And then it will give me uh, or it will ask me on what topic you want to talk. So if I know the topic, say I want to talk on the issue of uh, on my PC, I'll say issue issue and then it will check uh, for the topics which are having keyword as an issue and it will list me the list of those topics here and it will uh, say that to be more sure on what topic we want to discuss uh, he will ask us to choose from the topic here in the list shown here so I'll say that I want to create an incident because this is the topic that I have created so it will ask me for some more information. It will say, I'll need some more information to help you. I'll say, what information is needed? It will ask me that, do you want to report an incident? I'll say, yes, I want to report an incident. It will acknowledge for the answer I have given and it will start collecting the information required to create an incident. So it will ask me, how is the impact? I will say that impact is high. Then it will acknowledge me for selecting the impact. And then it will ask, what is the urgency? I will say urgency is also high. So it will acknowledge me for selecting the urgency. The reason, for, uh, the reason for selecting impact and urgency as high is that when these two are high, the priority of the incident is set to critical. So we want to see that when the incident is created using this information, the priority is set properly. Now it will ask me to please give me some more, uh, please help me with short description for your issue. So here I will say that email client is not working on my PC and I will enter so it will thanks for sh uh, sharing the information and based on the information I have given it has created an incident this is what it says here so it will ask me do we need some more help I will say no and it will say that uh, hope your query gets resolved and have a nice day so i will acknowledge this message i say okay thanks and it will say thank you for using our chat support and the chat ends here so now let's actually go and see whether the incident has been created actually it's been created we can see it here also but i'll show you since we need to check the details i will go here and I will refresh this page. So yeah, so this is the incident that is being created and its priority is also set to be critical. So let's see whether the impact and urgency that we have set are captured properly or no. So I'm opening this incident and yes, the impact we had set it to high. So it is set here as high urgency we had set as high it is set as high and based on that impact and urgency the priority is critical and this is the short description that we have given email client is not working on my pc so whatever information we have shared in the chat based on that the incident has been created now let's see how this actually works so i will go here and i will type in virtual agent so Uh, okay, 
So here I click the designer so it will show me the designer window for the virtual agent. So here it will list uh, on this screen it will list all the topics that are already being created here. So now we are interested in the topic to create an incident. So I will say here create incident. So yeah, so this is the topic that I have created. So I will go open this topic. This is the general information what we have to give. Uh, but this keyword are very important. So we need to give this keyword properly. So whatever keyword we type in here, based on that when you type one of these keywords in your chat, then based on this, uh, this the workflow uh, for this topic gets initiated. Now let's see what workflow we have created. So yeah, this is the workflow that we have created. I'll just zoom this a bit so that we can see it properly. Okay. So it's the start then welcome message. So welcome message by default, this uh, virtual uh, virtual agent gives its welcome message. But then when we are starting our discussion, we are giving our prompt here or we are giving our message here like I will need some more information to help you. Then the next step would be do you want to report an issue is what based on the answer he has given. So we will say do you want to report an incident. So uh, and this is the acknowledgement for whatever answer he gives. This is the boolean variable here and we are expecting yes or no. So based on this answer we are acknowledging his answer by saying okay thanks. This is the decision box here. So based on whether you want to create an incident yes or no the, the flow will start. I mean uh, if you create an yes the yes flow will start. If you say no then the no flow will get initiated. So it will go on to the next step like do you need some more help. Here if you say yes then it will start over again. If you say no then it will display the thank you message and the flow ends here. Now if we say that we want to create an incident then it will go to the next step like it will ask for the information regarding the impact. So this is the prompt that we have given how is the impact and this is the acknowledgement for whatever the answer the user gives. Then the next is the urgency. So this is the prompt for urgency. What is the urgency? And this is the acknowledgement for urgency that we have set. And this is the description based on the description given. Uh, after then uh, we have written a script here which will actually create an incident. And uh, then this is the thanks message like uh, for whatever information you have shared based on that information it has created an incident. This is what the chat bot will tell us. And then uh, do you require more help? If you say yes then it will start over again. If you say no then it will display the thank you message and the flow ends here. So now I will take you back to the chat and I will show you the another flow where we say that we don't want to create an incident. So once I am in the chat window it has started over again. So how can I help you and choose the topic? So I'll say show me everything. So I'll say show all the topics you have. So it is showing me the three topics that it is having, three active topics that is it is having. Then I'll say create an incident. Then it will ask for, uh, I'll need some more information to help you. I'll say what information is needed. Okay, then it will say, do you want to report an incident? Now I will see a no. It will thanks, uh, it will acknowledge your answer and then it will ask, do you need more help? And I will again say no. Yeah, so it will say that, hope your result, uh, query gets resolved and have a nice day. So I will acknowledge this. Okay, and now it will say thank you for using our chat support chat. So this is how actually the chatbot or the virtual agents works in service now. We can configure is it as per our 